The Black Food Ferret has a remarkable story. Emerald Zoo educator Jesse Story is here to share a little bit about it. And one of the things um, about this ferret is they used to hang out around here. Yeah, they did. So they were found in the Texas Panhandle, and uh, in 2014 they proposed re-releasing them because they're they're mm -hmm. found in prairie dog colonies. But one of the stipulations to that is they have to monitor the health of the prairie dog colony. And unfortunately, the site that they had picked out, which was prime for them, got hit by the plague. And they're not going to put these animals out there because there's so few yeah. uh, currently in captive breeding programs that they couldn't release it. So Rita Blanca was the actual site that they were looking at re-releasing it. So hopefully maybe that discussion will open up again in uh, more recent years. And hopefully we can have some ferrets here. But they've been released 19 places across wow. the Great Plains. And we learn a lot about them come tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow at 10 o'clock, uh, we'll be having an armchair adventure. It's like a 15 minute lecture series that's not very staunch, uh, but it's very in educational. And it's gonna talk about these ferrets and it's also gonna talk about the Sioux's role in um, ferret conservation. Some okay. Sioux's breed them and kind of why these guys are important. Very good, so that's the armchair adventure series. Absolutely. That is tomorrow from 10 to 11. Head out to the Emerald Zoo and be a part of it and uh, really keep them on the forefront of your mind when you're thinking of things to do with the kids, the warmer it gets so that way you can go yes. out there. And we apologize, uh, it's a real snooze fest over here <laughs> with, with our, our little ferret because they're nocturnal. This, they're they supposed are. to be asleep right now. Yeah, absolutely. So she was a little bit active earlier during the fashion show. She yeah. liked that and now she's just bedded down. So I'm so sorry. Well, it's very anticlimactic right least now. she enjoys the fashion. Yeah. I mean, she has Ferrets that about. Fashion. But you think about this, how would you act if somebody came and woke you up at like 4.30 in the morning. That's exactly what we're dealing with. Up next, we're checking in with Zach Wilkerson. We've